Hey, welcome back everybody. We have another TTM video to show you. We get autographs TTM. This one barely made it. Autographs TTM through the mail simply by sending our favorite athletes, celebrities, cards, photographs, helmets, balls, whatever you want to send them to get autographed along with a self-addressed stamped envelope. And you'll be sh shocked how many times you can get a return. When we get returns, we come to YouTube, we make videos, share the information. That way, if you see your favorite athlete or celebrity and it survives the mail, you can maybe able to get their autograph too. So let's get right to it. We've got seven. The first one's from West Palm Beach, Florida. Jerry Philbin. Pretty good return. Doesn't look like much to look at him. See, that just looks like Uncle Jerry. Everybody has an uncle who looks like that. <laughs> three of three from Uncle Jerry. Really great player. Don't forget Uncle Jerry because he was an AFL all-star. In fact, he's on the all-AFL team, all-time team. Those Jets, he won a Super Bowl, Super Bowl three. Joe Namath guaranteed victory. Philbin helped him get there. Pretty cool. He's 80 years old. Now he played for 10 seasons and then won in the World League, 1974. He's in the Jets' ring of honor. And before they kept track of sacks, they went back and watched game films. He had 14 and a half in 1968. Quick return once again from Uncle Jerry. Nine days, no fee. Next one coming from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, there's my note. He signed my note. Bob Oldis. Pretty cool. 62 tops. That pirate uniform and 60 tops. Nice. He was on that World Series. Oh, he signed the index card too. Signed both of them. Yeah, nice. Four of two from 93 year old Bob Oldis. World Series champion. 1960 World Series team. He actually played in games four and five as a defensive replacement late in the game. Didn't get a chance to hit in the series, but has a ring. Shows up for the uh, reunions when the Pirates hold them. Do you have any memories, memories of Roberto Clemente? You played portions of two seasons with him. Thank you. And he says, great guy plus player. Sweet. Great guy plus player. All right, next up, number three of seven, Miami, Florida. Tammy Miami Trail. Stan Bonson, first time we've gotten him back. Didn't sign the next cards. Send those to Bob Oldis. <laughs> He's 93, Bob Oldis. Stan Bonson, the Bonson burner. He signed that rookie card on the 68 tops. Frank Fernandez, I'll have to check on that. Merrick Am League Rookie of the Year, which he was in 68 for those Yanks. Really cool signature. He charges, but that's 68 on top. Rookie of the Year in 68. He played for 16 seasons. Started in 66, but he didn't qualify as a rookie until 68. 67 in the minors. Played 68, won 16 games for those Yanks. Interesting uh, note for TTMers in the early 70s. Let's see if it shows here. It'll definitely show in the 79 tops. Look at those early White Sox years. 72, 73, 74. Chuck Tanner, a young guy named Chuck Tanner, was the manager and uh, decided to go with a three-man staff. 43 games started, 42 and 38 in three consecutive seasons for those White Sox. And the other two in that three-man rotation are also guys who signed through the mail. Wilbur Wood, and he was he pitched so often, he actually threw both games of a doubleheader back then. And uh, Tom Bradley, who's a great signer as well. Those those three were the three-man staff of the White Sox back then. So that was, and you'll never see that happen again, that's for sure. 118 starts in three seasons for him. 29 days, and there's some disagreement. I think he signs one for free. And then $5 after that, or 3 for 10 which would be the same thing. That's what I sent. I sent $10 and three cards and got them back in 29 days. Next up, Kansas City Mo. 
three-man staff. How about that? Joe Carter. Man, I'm still amazed at that 84 Donruss card. I got that $3 delivered. <laughs> oh, I just dinged it. Nope. 84 Donruss. Joe Carter. Great, great player. 61 years old. Now he played outfield for 16 seasons. 83 to 98. Started off with these Cubbies. Also played for the Blue Jays. That's his where he got his claim to fame. He won two World Series with them. Superb career. About 2,200 hits. Almost 400 home runs. 1,450 RBIs. Five times an All-Star. I mean, come on. No steroid issues. Here's a, here's a question I ask a lot of times. Would anybody be upset if Joe Carter was elected to the Hall of Fame? And the answer is no. I mean, it's not like Harold Baines a couple years ago when everybody was upset, and rightfully so. But Joe Carter deserves to be in. He's in the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. If that's any consolation. 18 days, $5 fee for Joe Carter. And remember, only send him one card and one $5 bill at a time. Otherwise, they may get messed up. He's a lot like Sandberg in that regard. Just send one card. Oh, my... <laughs> a thank you note. Lenny Moore, Hall of Fame 75. No postmark. And no card. <laughs> okay. I sent that 58 tops or 59 tops, whatever it was. Oh, well. Got an autograph, I guess. Lenny Moore, Hall of Fame 75. One of the GOATs. One of the greatest players in NFL history. I don't know why he didn't sign my card, but that's okay. He's 87 years old, seven times in the Pro Bowl, all 50s, 1950s all-decade team. I sent the 58 tops and $5. Oh, well. Maybe he's increased his fee and I haven't heard. I have to check that one. He may be up to $10 now or something, maybe. Don't know. Anyway, Phoenix, Arizona, next up. Glad to get his autograph on the thank you card, I guess. Joe Amalfitano. 63 tops and the 60 top, 61 tops. 63 and 61. Signed a little smudge on that one. That's okay. He's getting up there in age too. I, I forget. Let's see if I can. 1934. He's 87. 87 years young, Joe Amalfitano. Played for 10 seasons as an outfielder, an infielder, kind of a utility guy. Made his uh, claim to fame as a coach. He coached for 30-plus years and even managed a couple seasons for the Cubs in the uh, early 80s. Coached for 30-plus seasons for those Cubs and Giants and Dodgers. He won a World Series ring in 88 with those Dodgers. 17 days, no fee, Joe Amalfitano. Last one from Nashville, Tennessee. The Music City. Mike Reed, Hall of Famer. There's a Hall of Famer. Of course, he's not in the Football Hall of Fame. 72 tops rookie and 75 tops. Looking like a stud in both. Fresh off Penn State's campus on that card. He was an All-American there. Played for... About five seasons in the NFL, suffered through some injuries, and then uh, formed a band. Started playing in a band around Cincinnati where he was playing with the Bengals. And uh, got some sort of fame there around the Cincy area. Moved to Nashville, and the rest is history. Great songwriter, great song singer. He's in the uh, Country Music Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2005. Seven days, quick return. We've gotten him before, and he's been closer to 60 or 70 days. Pretty cool. Mike Reed, Country Music Hall of Famer, seven days. That's it. Hey, how about that? Pretty quick. Seven returns. What'd you think? Who was your favorite? Let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, we've got more TTM videos coming right up. Try to do two a week, and uh, we'll do a mail day video on Friday. Stay tuned for that one. Hit that bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos as soon as I put them out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.